chi'l drod byw nawr o brif adran genero ac mae sylwi beth Saesneg ar gael ar y botwm coch. English language commentary is available now as Swansea take on Wrexham. Sky Plus, free view or Virgin Media viewers, please press the red button. If you have a TiVo box or Sky Q box, please access settings and use the audio selection option. Any problems, please contact our viewers hotline. Drawn i felly at Griw Scorio. <coughs> Troiso i'r tymor newydd ac am ffordd i ddechrau y tymor yna. Rexam y newydd y fodiaid. I ffordd ac un o'r enwy mawr yn y gynglair yma. Aber Tawe. Chivers, y rhif deg. Deg allan o ddeg. John Davis ar y post yn pecha. Cyfle i Rexam. Pritchard ar ar gen. Pritchard ar gol. Mae Rexam ar y blaen. Lily Jones i Rexham, Hughes yn y canol, maent ar ganfod Hughes, cyfled fawr i Rexham, mae'n gol i Rexham, y boi arall, Rosie Hughes. Abertawe yn ymosod eto, ble roch gan y gol geidwaid, mae'n symud, mae pindod sy'n taro, nawr dem yn adan i ddiwedd glo. A Rexham yn disgyn yn ddwm, Chivers, Chivers! Welcome to Wrexham. Here we fell out of her. Toy Soy Glen and Harris. Heaven. Not to talk about that. Welcome to the other one. Toy Soy Glen and Harris. Come on. What's that? 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 Dyma tabl ar ôl gemau'r penodlog. Dyma'n dwi'n gem ôl pnaw. Mae Cyfdyd Ddi Ennig o dair i ddim yn erbyn met hwn yn glir ar y brig. A bod yr ystryth Ddi Ennig yn y bari. Cyfdyd ddal ddim wedi colli. Beth yma bod yr ystryth yn rhan yr uchaf gwenna? Dyn really joy o'r gweld. Pa mae'r ddam yn wneud. Mae gafn ar neu gweith o'r benig. Mae'n gan ystyried fach yn rhoi strwys i'n y ffordd i nhw o ran lleoliad, cyflisterau. Mae'n nhw'n wneud gwaith anhygol. Nhw wedi gyrraedd tîm oed ei enghyd, achos mae mae hwnna anarwydd mawr o'r gyngrad a plygu'r gyngrad yma yw gyngrad dan i'n dignaw yn nos wener. Mae nhw'n dignyddio thwyth o'r talent i ddanc yna. Mae nhw'n sereni ar hynny fi. Sôn am rheol o'r amryst. Fe ddim i'n glywed gan y rheolwyr fy nyn nesaf. Mae'n newid i bod yn ambersawe yn barod tymor yma. Steve Dale o'r ffysiw yn Rexham. Fe ddim i'n glywed gyntaf gan Chris Church sydd o'r ffysiw erbyn hyn yn ambersawe. Mae'r ddau ni fod yn siarad yn Nicky John. Oh, Chris, it hasn't been a straightforward start for the club off the pitch this season, but how pleased were you with the start that you've made on it? I think incredibly proud, especially, you know, since taking over. Um, the players have taken into what I, bought into what I wanted, and we can see that with results on the field, and they getting us off it at the same time. Obviously, you know, when you, when you look at that game and reflect on it, it was a, a crazy game, lots of drama, a good one for the neutral, uh, but I think... Both teams have sort of gone off on their own sort of direction since that, so you know I don't think that's really going to come into today's game. You know both teams are on decent runs, so it's it's going to be one of those games today. It was a you know a topsy turvy game at the end of the day, and I think uh, great for the neutrals, not so great for obviously us. Um, but I think we've learned a lot since then, and you know today is about hopefully putting on a show for our fans, and you know in our way, not in their way. We, you know, we've got a lot of quality in the team. Um, you know, football's a, a squad game, and it gives other girls opportunities to, to step in when needed. And today's a perfect opportunity for someone to come in and step up and, you know, take the accolation that Rosie normally takes. You know, we've come here to win. Um, we've st I've stressed that to the players all week. 
you know, we're in a, you know, a tough, tough battle with in the top three, and we don't want Cardiff pulling away, and we want to catch them. So today is a big, big game for us, and we want to win it. The way that the game's going and the exposure. Um, the, the way that the league want to promote the, the women's game is fantastic and it's a fantastic opportunity and I'm sure the girls are, are really looking forward to it. They've had a little look round and they're chomping at the bit to go now. Brilliant. Good job. 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 Good Good evening, Chrysler, and welcome to Swansea.com Stadium. We're halfway through phase one in the Janeiro Adran Premier. Everyone's played each other once already, and we go again. We started with a bang in September, that three-all draw at the Rock, and it's the same two teams facing each other today. Swansea welcome Wrexham, and if it's half as entertaining as the opener, we are in for a treat. I'm pleased to be joined in the commentary box by Nia Davis today. Nia, in this big stadium, quite a good crowd. It bodes to be a, a good encounter. Yeah, what an occasion. It's, it's good to have it in the stadium again. And yeah, following that first uh, first game of the season between these, then yeah, let's hope that it's the same same with six balls or something like that, you know? Swansea missed out on the title last year. They're now sitting third halfway through phase one. How will they look back on the first half? Uh, yeah, you know, they, it, it's, it's a, a clash of second versus third, so it's going to be very good to see what they're, they're up against. Obviously, there's, um, like it's been said already, there's going to be changes in the, the teams. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they adapt to that. Only one change for Swansea since they lost here to Cardiff a fortnight ago. Chloe Chibbers comes in for Sammy Wynn. Stacey John Davis taken off injured after half hour in the opening game of the Rock. She's since back to full fitness. And the big news for Wrexham is that they are without Rosie Hughes, of course, and her 10 goals this season so far in the league. And also captain Karen Allen. For the first time in the league this season, not playing, Delph Morgan in goal is the captain. And the big question is the attack of Swansea going to be winning the day today? Yeah, I think they're very dangerous, like the front three. Um, however they set up, it's, it's going to be, you know, there's, there's pace there and there's quality um, technically. And tactically, let's see what they do. Um, they'll, they'll test the back. Uh, back line of, of Wrexham so yeah it'll be really good to see how they uh, yeah punish that back line and on the other end of the pitch obviously without Rosie Hughes what's plan B for Wrexham yeah like you know you, uh, it'll be interesting to see who they sort of put in centre and at, up front I guess um, obviously Amber Lightfoot has, has scored a lot um, in last season's campaign and obviously had quite a few assists I think she's got four assists already so maybe she's the one that needs to score today rather than assist but it'll be really interesting to see and it'll give an opportunity for someone else from the bench to show what they can do second versus third as you said Nia Supposed to be a good one, and Cardiff City won earlier today, 3-0 against Cardiff Mets, which stretches their lead at the top of the moment to six points ahead of Wrexham, who are in second. And it's important for both these teams to get three points here today, really, to keep Cardiff within touching distance. 
yeah, they're, they're both in it for the win. Uh, obviously, you know, three points is valuable to keep that sort of gap um, as minimal as, as we can, uh, as they can between Cardiff. So, yeah, they'll both be wanting that three points, and I'm sure they'll go for it um, from from the start to the, the final whistle as well. Ryan Kenny, the referee today. And it was a very tasty encounter at the Rock. Ellie Lake got a red card. And there was plenty of grit on the show. Hopefully this will be a tenacious encounter as well. Wrexham kick off. 606 in attendance at the Rock. I think there's more here today to see the Swans with an early chance to close down a goal Pinder still going for the ball Pinder came on instead of Stacey John Davis after she came off injured early she got the first goal for Swansea and their fights back two down they were at Wrexham and there's a lot of responsibility on Delph Morgan's shoulders in goal for Wrexham today Counter for Carl Jones. Wrexham getting an early chance. Prison Hancock's clearing up. Swansea have been disappointed. With the start of the season so far, in many ways, they're used to winning this league. Three titles in a row they won before last season. Were you surprised to see a change in management at the start of this season with Swansea? Uh, yeah, it was quite um, early on, I guess, but I guess that, that's uh, the way of football now. It, it is quite brutal, um, and yeah, if a decision has to be made, they, they made it. Um, but yeah, I was quite surprised that it happened so quickly, but... Obviously, you know, if, if they are going to keep the, the managers in there and the gap becomes big, it's very difficult to come back. DJ Dickens with the free kick. And delivery is good, tested, but Davis can hit the target. Yeah, it's good to see that they, you know, they've had uh, Wrexham have been in Swansea's half for the for the opening few minutes. You know, um, they're not sitting back; they're they're quite comfortable in in being in the opposition half and yeah, going to test the keeper early, really, from that um, from that free kick. Davis played every minute of the campaign so far for Wrexham. and there is Chris Church, the new manager. For Swansea, he's the caretaker while they recruit for a permanent one. And Steve Dale on the sideline for Wrexham. A long diagonal ball. Oxford will stretch for that. Uh, too much to ask on that ball. I think she hesitated a little bit then. <laughs> Maybe she would have carried on. Maybe she could have got there, but... Yeah, a little bit of that hesitation there, um, and then it bounced out on, on this like great surface, which is quite slick, so yeah, they'll have to anticipate that a little bit better. Oswood scored twice in front of the live scorer cameras this season so far, including that late, late equaliser against Wrexham. Celebrated like a win as well. <laughs> yeah. Out across the back to Williams. Williams carries those long chippers as they running behind the defence. And it's collected by Brisbane Hancocks and uh, wasted in the end. Williams couldn't get the ball to say to John Davis. Phoebe Davis with the throw towards Dickens. It's lifted high. Williams with the header out. I throw for Wrexham. Davis 
So Dickens, some good passing by Wrexham. Dispossessed. Chance for Hosler to try and run at the defence now, Pritchard doing well to lay it off to Morgan, clears. Chivers. A good ball to the corner, CC John Davis gets to it. There's two waiting in the box. Pinder is one, Hosford at the back post. Can't header it towards goal. Out for a goal kick, but what a chance for Swansea there. Yeah, you know that Stacey uh, John Davis is going to catch there, which he is very fast. So uh, Wrexham has to have to be aware of like the space that they're leaving behind the back line. Um, so it's recognising when to drop and, and when to step is, is really important. Otherwise, they are going to be caught out by that. John Davis went off so early after hitting the crossbar in the opening game. She is clearly a dangerous player. We've seen so often in this league. Top scorer last season. 15 goals in 16 games. Pinder, some good skill there to create space. She's tried to pull it back, but Pritchard was there for Wrexham. Suckley trying to hold the ball up. Are there runners for Wrexham? And that goes all the way to the keeper. Skinner for Swansea. Williams out to Powell. Finch passed the ball, but loses possession. Powell under pressure in the back. And Blizzard Hancock's there to support that back from the midfield. Now an opportunity to run down the flank. Finch it is with a cross towards Pinder. Pinder gets to it, but can't control. And slides to see a chance go begging. It was a great delivery on that cross. It was just unlucky that Robin Pinder couldn't get on the end of it properly with that first time finish, maybe. Come back for a free kick. We see again this. Just caught her knee as she was sliding. Yeah, it's really important that the Wrexham defence follow those runners as well. You know, that is going to happen quite often, so they, they need to know who's looking after Robin Binder as the, the number nine in the, in the squad, as, as the striker, you know. Lily Jones and TJ Dickens over this. Jones is the one in the end who delivers. Wrexham can't collect. Stacey John Davis turns, Pinder waiting at the halfway line. John Davis rapidly up to put the pressure on. Good pick. Let's keep the ball in. Ultimately, Carla Jones gives the ball to Swansea, and it is a throw in. To Swansea. Yeah, you could see what um, Alicia Powell was trying to do then, come back out and switch the, the play, but she didn't realise there was a, a Wrexham player right behind her. So, but yeah, fortunately, she still got the throw in for, for her team. Powell to Williams, Swansea happy to move the ball about. John Davis back to goal. Williams towards Spinder. Going for a long shot. Finch. I think she had too much time to think about that one. Chivers carries. Dickens follows. Chivers with the skill. Gets the cross in. It's cleared. Can't find a Swansea player in the box. Finch it is again. Collecting in the middle. I think that's what's going to cause Wrexham a little bit of problems and now Chloe Chibbers is on the wing Chibbers to Pinder, Pinder gets ahead to it John Davis turns the flick again, now gets laid on to Hosford and the shot over the bar in the end how many strikers can Swansea have in the six yard box 
yeah. with that many opportunities. Yeah, that's that's the key thing I was just about to say before that chance happened. Like Chivers can uh, roll into that wide area and Stacey John comes in. They're very fluid in the front, so like it's not always the same personnel in, in the same position. So uh, yeah, Wrexham have to be like just like a little bit more composed about who they've got in what areas of the pitch. Hosford in a good position there. And again, closing down on goal. Can't get that past the pinder. They looked a little bit more organised there, Wrexham in the back there. They had like one cover and one in front of the, the striker. So if they can carry on doing that, I think they'll settle a little bit more. Hosford is floored by Jones. Ten minutes on the clock. And that man, Chris Church, is probably the happier of the two managers, would you say, so far? Yeah, they've had the chances, haven't they? They've had two very good chances. Um, so, yeah, he will be the happier. Um, but, yeah, they, I think they just settle in. You know, ten minutes in, they'll settle. A little bit more possession from probably both teams is what both managers will want at this stage. Chivers goes directly for goal. It's testing how awake Delith Morgan is. Uh, yeah, it's not a surprise that Chloe Chivers does that. She she's very technical, and you know if she can catch the goalkeeper out, she is one of those players that is creative enough to to see that and deliver it. We've been treated to many a great strike by Chloe Chivers over the last couple of seasons. Yeah, it's great to see her back fully fit now after you know some knee injuries and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really good to see her back and and yeah, hopefully score some more goals. And that's certainly the goal for Swansea. This time, the aim is to create for Stacey John Davis. She thanks the ball, but that was just out of reach. Yeah, she's quick, but maybe not that quick. Dad Morgan. To get the ball up into Swansea's half. So at the moment, Swansea are try, starting to put on the pressure. It's this kind of ball they need. And maybe a mistake in the back as well. The pressure still coming by Suckley. And again, oh, mistakes in the back for Swansea. Lightfoot and Wrexham through Jones take the lead well as Swansea was standing to put the pressure on Wrexham break a very dangerous counter not dealt with by Swansea and an easy tap in in the end for Cara Jones Yeah, with a little bit of pressure, they didn't look very comfortable with that pressure coming from from uh, from the striker there. So yeah, it's it's recognising that. So Wrexham will probably carry on <laughs> doing that for for the first half, definitely. Well, it was a key save from Skinner from the shot from Lightfoot. Cara Jones, right in the right place, right time. And we've started off well in terms of entertainment so far. Yeah, definitely. I know, like what we said, like Swansea have had the, the chances, but yeah, uh, being clinical in front of goal, Wrexham have had one very good chance and scored from it. So yeah, uh, Cara will be happy with that. Wrexham new to the league, but so far looking at home in the top four, aren't they? They sitting second. Well, and we'll stay there as it stands. A lot of time to go. It appears that it's been a seamless transition to the top tier for Wrexham. Yeah, I think the club have really backed the uh, the women's side, um, which is great to see. You know, um, the investment probably that's gone into it, and the hard work from people probably behind the scenes as well. So, yeah, they they've come into the league. I think the first game was really good for them to have that really competitive three three. What a classic to start the the season with. So, I think they probably fueled from that motivation and, and carried on with that. And clearly, today they've carried on with it, being one up. Finch 
The long ball towards John Davis. She gets the foot to it. And he goes all the way to Dalek Morgan. Swansea are looking for that switch, that the, like the big switch, basically, a lot of the time. They know Stacey's got the, got the pace, so, yeah, probably Wrexham is a, probably a consideration for them just to be aware of that. Williams, it's a head to ball. Finch, some good skill, but can't escape. Carla Jones it is as well, the goal scorer. Tivers tries to turn in the middle once again, going for that long dangle ball towards Stacey John Davis. Jaden Davis with some space this time. Forces the save, can't collect. Some good defending in the end to deny her the second opportunity. Yeah, definitely that big switch again. Like Chloe likes to do that that switch, um, and Stacey, well, what a touch to bring it down to start with. But yeah, Del Del Morgan and goal will be happy to save it. But again, we don't want that ball. <laughs> she probably doesn't want that ball going back to Stacey because she doesn't want a second chance. Um, so yeah. Controls well. She has been a handful at the start of this game as she was in the start of the other game. At the Rock, Doran was the one coming to deny the second chance. TJ Dickens with the free kick. All the way to, towards the back post, towards Suckley. But it's a free kick for a foul in the end. It was a very good uh, delivery in from that free kick very good and it was like a 2v2 in the box then so yeah that with those deliveries if if they can get more free kicks they will cause Swansea some uh, yeah pressure in that box Pow. Williams pinned up forward to Stacey John Davis Eve Jenkins and Hosford waiting in the middle Stacey John Davis racing for the ball but loses the race to the white line I think we're coming back for a free kick and a foul by Doran just to pull back Stacey John Davis in that run perhaps she would have got the ball <laughs> Maybe, but yeah, I'm sure from this uh, free kick, um, Dell will be a little bit more <laughs> uh, aware of. Uh, obviously, it's Chloe Chivers taking the the free kick again, so yeah, she'll be setting up her wall properly, and this is probably going to be a delivery in rather than than a shot. Maybe Chivers is the one with the free kick. Hosford can't get to the loose ball at the back post. Doran with the clearance. Finch with the throw. Finch now carrying. Pinder's running behind the defence. A good header by Doran. TJ Dickens, oh, Chivers sliding in there. A yellow card right in front of Ryan Kenny. Easy decision for Ryan Kenny. Uh, yeah, she was late, but I don't. I think that is her first challenge. Um, with it being quite early, I'm quite surprised that he, he brought the yellow out straight away. But, yeah, um, she was late and she did catch uh, the Wrexham player. Long ball towards Jones. Hosford tries to hold the ball up. Doran back to the keeper. Pinder will go to face. 
I think uh, Doran's been very influential so far. She is winning the headers. She is like sort of not sweeping, but she is in behind and covering. Um, and I think she's done really well in the first, what is it, nearly 20 minutes. Flick by Jones up towards Suckley. Maybe another throw for Wrexham. TJ Dickens. Pinder. Steals the ball for Swansea. It's quite interesting to see um, Rebecca Pritchard be in as a, as a fullback in this, in this game with the back four. Um, Obviously, there's been ch changes to the personnel, so with with players coming in. But yeah, it's interesting to see her, maybe her experience um, of the game and her up against Katie Hosford in that fullback position. It'll be a good battle between them two this afternoon. Reminder on the screen that Wales are playing Turkey on Tuesday, and you can see that live on Sky after that disappointment yesterday. A draw against Armenia and want to finish the group on a positive note. Out for a throw, according to the assistant referee. And it will be Pritchard with the throw for Wrexham. Tara Jones tries the flick. Ball comes up to Robin Pinder. That's one uh, thing that Robin does really well is, is hold the ball up um, and allows the others to get around her and get forward. Um, she does hold the ball up really well and then secures that possession. So, um, yeah, that'll probably be a likely thing that happens throughout this game. John Davis back in defence. Doesn't take her long to get up to the front line. And she waits for this. Pinder's there. She glides up into the air. Can't get to it. And then ultimately, it's an offside call from the assistant referee from the far side. So close. Oh, Pinder to get something on that. It was a really good cross from um, Ellie Lake as well. Again, from the other side this time. So, yeah, crosses coming from both sides for, for Wrexham to deal with. Um, but, yeah, Swansea not being as clinical as they'd, they'd want so far. Pow. Back to the keeper, Skinner. You can see how um, disciplined Wrexham are out of possession. Um, both teams playing like a 4-3-3. Swansea with just the one uh, deep liar and then Wrexham having the two deep liars against their 10. So I think like you can see that they know, Matt, like, they pick up their players every time that Swansea are on, on the ball. So you can see their like, you know, determination in that midfield to make sure that nothing gets played through really easily. Richard towards Suckley. Automatic fall there. Finch, it was going to ground. Sandwich, but I don't know, uh, a little bit dramatic. <laughs> a lake continuing with the run. Forces a throw in. Lake to throw. Those socks down by her ankles. Chivers sees the goal opening up in front of her and she doesn't need a second invitation. The Wrexham players closing her down. Yeah, they'll have to do that very quickly because she can obviously strike the ball with her left or right foot as we've seen previously in previous games, you know. So, yeah, they'll have to make sure that she doesn't get time and space in front of, in front of goal.
Another one gone straight out by Delph Morgan. So a throw in for Swansea. Yeah, Wrexham don't look to play out from the back, and not surprising really with the the speed of their front front line really. So, but um, yeah, when it goes central, the the midfield for Wrexham typically win it. Um, so yeah, that could be an option for Wrexham to to play more central rather than down to the channels. A touch there by Doran towards Stacey John Davis. The flag goes up, the far side, and the Wrexham defence can breathe a sigh of relief. I think Stacey just needs to be careful of that. Obviously, she's looking to be on the sh shoulder of the defender to get that sort of uh, big switch. But, yeah, she just needs to keep an eye on that line and, and not creep um, as she has done then. Strong header by Williams. Maybe touch by Hosford. Pushes Finch out wide. Finch, you know, can get the ball past Pritchard, but Pritchard does well to collect. Gibbard. That's blocked by Chivers. Yeah, Wrexham have been doing, like, quite good combinations in, in tight areas, and then it's just that final pass, really. It's like, do they, like, relax a little bit more, keep possession, rather than trying to look forward all the time? Well, Jenkins went down there. I don't think there was much contact. I think it just caught her back of a foot. Lake back to Williams. Maxim come again. There's space behind the defence, so the ball goes long. Suckley's the one to chase. Suckley. The first touch goes for goal. Another. Small mistake in the back, opening up a door for Wrexham. Yeah, Eva Suckley is like really lively in that in that striker role on the ball again here. She's not scared to have a shot. She had support that time from Lightfoot. The opportunities for them haven't been that many. No, they, they're looking to go long quite often, and then there's not much support for Suckley up there, so it is a bit difficult for her. Um, but, yeah, if they're looking for that counter, they just need players around her a little bit quicker um, rather than her being on her own. Williams tries to carry out the defence. But Wrexham, Steele, now they've got bodies in support. Jones goes from far. Lily Jones this time from outside the box. Lily's another player that can, is technically very good and, and, yeah, she can strike from distance, so I'm not surprised she had a goal from there. Pow. And towards Finch. Swansea. Again, happy to have possession in the back, trying to walk through the Wrexham midfield. Not for the first time, not being able to get past Pritchard. Doing the job well down the right side for Wrexham. Yeah, she's very disciplined. Like we know that she can she can go forward, you know, she scored um a lot of goals last season as well. Um but yeah, has to do maybe a, a job at full back for the for the team for the time being really. Another offside call. Swansea really on the life edge there in the last few minutes. Third time they've been called offside. Yeah, you can see that they're trying to push bodies up. You know, as soon as as Swansea are in possession, um, one of the the tens, so either Chloe or Neve, goes up higher to support Robin. So you can see that they're either getting four or potentially sometimes five in uh, against uh, Wrexham's backline. Hosford collects in the centre circle. Do well to get the ball, but Pritchard is there. Cara Jones. I think there's an appeal for a handball there. We carry on. 
Leek. Pinder. And the ball here to Ryan Kenny. And we'll have a drop ball. Again, you can see the, the change of like uh, positions for the for the players. Like Robin came really deep then and Neve took her place. So I think you know you can see that fluidity. And I think they can if they can do that more, that'll cause a lot of problems for Wrexham and potentially have more opportunities at, uh, in the, the final third. Ball comes out to Hosford. Pinder. Oh, that was close to being offside as well, I think. That was once again really pushing the barriers. Wanting to get behind the defence. Yeah, I think the lino just knew it was going back into Del Morgan, so it didn't, didn't raise his flag again. Jones goes for the ball. Suckley is there. And Pau stands strong up towards Hosford. Hosford continued with the run. Jenkins has found her. Hosford on a run down the left. And good work by Doran. Timed that well. And another Swansea opportunity gone. Yeah, there was no contact there. It was just the, the ball just ran ran out um, but yeah again Doran like covering again she she covers a lot of ground and covers her her defensive team very well Chivers collects Chivers got space here and now eventually it's closed down by that player again Doran I thought she was going to hit that. <laughs> I think on the volley or anything like that. Wouldn't surprise me. It's a safe bet with Chibbers. We're going to have another look at free kick here. For handball by Phoebe Davis. Jess Williams to take. Half hour gone. Pinder and Jenkins go for the ball. Hosford, Jenkins is there. Can't get enough power to test Morgan in goal. Yeah, I think she sort of sliced at that. I didn't, she didn't get a full connection with it, which, you know, yeah, she sort of sliced underneath it. So I'm sure Del Morgan was happy to see her do that, to be fair. Found herself in plenty of space in the box. I couldn't capitalise. Yeah. Ruslan Hancocks now to Finch Hosford's on a run Finch has found her Pinder and John Davis arriving in the box Pinder doesn't lay it off goes for goal and it's lifted over the bar by Morgan another opportunity um, I'm not sure she could have probably gone low and hard there rather than lift the ball I think that would have probably caught Del Morgan out or cause more issues than going high. Was John Davis a better option as well? Yeah, potentially, yeah, if she's just set her back. Hosford with the corner. Eventually. Hosford goes right into the middle. Prison Hancocks. And battles for the ball, but loses that battle. Lightfoot on a run. Powell comes out. What will he be thinking now? Chris Church. Oh yeah, there's not much... Well, there's a little bit left of this half. He, he probably really wants to <laughs> get something going into the half-time. That'll be crucial for them. Um, but yeah, hopefully convert one of those chances before half time would be his preferred uh, scenario, I guess. How? John Davis, a rage one tackle. Asking a lot of Lake there. Lightfoot 
Happy to shepherd that one out for a goal kick. You can definitely see the, the work rate of Wrexham. They all work extremely hard to, to sort of stop anything. You know, they the prime example of Amber tracking all the way back to cover. Um, they do work really hard for each other. And maybe that's like an essence of why they're doing so well this season, because they're togetherness. Yeah, the only top points for them so far, apart from the draw in the opening game of the season, is a loss to Cardiff City, who are unbeaten. So there's no shame in that at the moment for a newly promoted team. Cardiff City now won seven, drawn one. That goalless draw against Aberystwyth. They were knocking on the door in that game as well. Hit the crossbar. Reminder that you can see the highlights of this game and all of the Cymru Premier and international games this Monday. 10 pm on SBC. Jones beats into the ball there. Should have complaints about that foul. Or tackle? Was it a foul? Um, it looked a little bit of a, a physical one, um, but the referee didn't give it. So um, yeah, I'll let the referee ref this one. <laughs> but no, I think it was. Uh, he carried on. He thought it was fair. So Blake, goes forward. Osford. Chivers carries. Once again, goes for goal. Yeah, I think um, in that instance, obviously Katie's gone inside infield. Um, someone needs to stretch the the pitch and make uh, like have width in the in this game. Um, Stacey John Davis is doing it on one side, um, but yeah, if you can create more width, it's obviously a lot more difficult for the defenders to get across, and you can probably find gaps through them. So, yeah, width is probably something that's missing a little bit on on Swansea side at the moment. 12 efforts on goal versus three Swansea clearly knocking on the door and is there another one here now Richard stops the ball Swansea still Osford comes back for the ball foul called by Ryan Kenny yeah she gets a, a touch on the ball but yeah she does sort of go through there and oh does she I don't know she sort of gets a touch on the ball I think slightly and then she goes through the player so yeah uh, if the player feels the contact they go down nowadays so um, yeah free kick obviously for that one there's a Welsh counterpart in the Opposite commentary box. Pritchard with the throw towards Suckley. Wanting to add to that, those three chances that they've created in the opening 38 minutes. Swansea come again, Pinder. Has found space for Stacey John Davis. She's on her own. Where's the support? John Davis gets to Pinder. Hotsford's there, slides in. Gets up, but not quick enough. And who's there but Doran once again to carry the ball out for Wrexham. Yeah, again, that, that switch. Um, again, Stacey John Davis doing what she does best, you know, with her speed and getting high into the into the box. But everyone needs to support her quicker. I know it's hard when she's uh, very fast, but, yeah, she wanted support earlier. Um, and I think it would have been an easier opportunity at goal if, if they were up quicker. But, yeah, again, a bit of a scramble. But, yeah, Duran, again, being what she, she's done all half and, and been very clinical in there and covering. Pritchard as well, putting her body on the line to deny Hosford's first chance as you said earlier Wrexham's work rate cannot be faulted but they have to work again now because Stacey John Davis once again is closing down on goal 
can't get the ball to Pinder. Still there for John Davis. Pinder's there with a flick. And easy in the end for Morgan. Once again, Swansea testing Wrexham. Yeah, I think uh, sometimes Phoebe Davis gets caught out of position. So, like, at the moment, she's getting a little bit high. And Stacey John Davis is obviously... Um, been on her back shoulder so it's 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 a little bit obvious that they're going to go that way um so yeah maybe that's something just to to check on when maybe half time will be a, a pointer from the Wrexham manager well we are yeah, coming for a break how has it gone down injured and a little bit of a breather for both teams with five minutes to go till the half time we see another angle of this last chance across from CC John Davis how looks to be in a bit of pain but I think she'll want to come on at least till half time so that she's going to get assessed yeah she'll definitely not want to come off <laughs> especially being one nil down, I think she'll uh, she'll definitely go back on and yeah, hopefully she can run it off. Sharp. Pinder asked for a run from Hosford. Goes for the long ball towards John Davis. Chivers to the corner to Pinder. the end wasteful with a cross yeah I think you can see again obviously Pinder then in, in the channel with Hosford in the middle but it's not really it's, yeah they're getting opportunities but it's not causing Wrexham massive problems they, they are sticking to their players quite um, well so yeah but I think that rotation and, and different um, runs and, and rotations in the final third or especially in the opposition half is going to really be beneficial for them to create something Pinder realises she's in an offside position. Well, Wrexham will have a chance to clear. Chivers senses the run was on from Cece John Davis. Chivers again on the ball. Back to Pau. Chance for her to get a foot on the ball after being off. I think the midfield of Wrexham do really well in applying pressure straight away after a transition moment. So if they lose the ball, there's always a midfielder that goes and presses. So, yeah, they, they're very organised in that midfield, that midfield three, uh, uh, working extremely hard for Wrexham. Bench up towards Chivers. Can't get past Pritchard. Pinder tries to turn. Sharp is there. Finch. Got a chance for a cross. And John Davis cutting a frustrated figure in the six yard box. Chivers. Goes for a cross. And Morgan with safe hands in the end from Brisbane Hancocks. I think a little bit more detail and, and care on the crosses from Swansea will will gain, like, you know, uh, gain a little bit more advantage. Um, sometimes they've got two or three players in the box and the cross isn't really getting there. Um, so yeah, I think that's something as well that could benefit them. Lake, that ball gets behind the defence to Osford. Osford with a cross, Binder sliding in late. And too late for the cross. Morgan there with safe hands. Jones up towards Suckley. Suckley. 
Skinner. Oh, goes up for the ball. Fumbles. And luckily for her, Suckley can't capitalise on another just a little mistake in the back by Swansea. Nervous at times. Yeah, they don't like the pressure um, being put on them. Um, and I've been quite impressed with um, Ava Suckley. She she's not scared to go and press and, and put her body in there. And she's she's working hard for the team as well. So yeah, she's she's been very good today. So there's two minutes of added time at the end of this first half. Two minutes for Wrexham to see out and go in with a goal advantage. Yeah, they'll be wanting to defend this really well this last two minutes now, not concede just before half time. And the amount of chances that Swansea have created, they'll be over the moon with this scoreline at the moment, won't they? Yeah, definitely. Um, Swansea will be frustrated not to, to probably get more on target. And Hosford again with another opportunity. Easy for Morgan. Yeah, I think it's going to be yeah, difficult for them to try and catch Morgan out from that far out. Um, she's, she's an experienced goalkeeper, um, and yeah, she'll be ready for those long shots. So, yeah, I think maybe those combinations and rotations and ho hopefully more crosses could um, cause more problems in that in that sense. Williams trying to overplay out from the back. Finch clears it. Long it goes towards Pinder. Morgan outside the box. And just to clear. And Pinder gets penalised. A late bit of physicality. This is what Rock, uh, Wrexham want. Just a little bit of time. They'll take their time now and, and wait for that half-time whistle. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure that was on Dell's mind when when Robin came crashing in as well. So. Long ball by Doran. Takes it high by T.J. Dickens. up towards Pinder and that's the last play of the game and it's a goal for Cara Jones that's the difference between the two teams all the opportunities have come to Swansea almost but that counts for little because it's about getting the ball in the back of net and it's Swansea nil Wrexham 1 at half time join us for second half
Johnny Achroeso i Aber Tower, Rex Am and Camir Kayama, Amato Kanta, and the Gunglerama, Amato Kanta, Akheto, Arablain Van Hed, Aber Tower, Sid Wedi, Rioli, Lucy Calamedian, Lucy Calacabreo, Incom Lefiang and Wait, Amarex Am and Provi Hani, Van Hen Heno, Arabego, Arablain, a goal is them. Yeah, yeah, so I bet you a and 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 if I don't know Press and all that, or just press and all that, but 
Jason Head, who can now let Mahonati cut back on fight. On Matulan and the canal, deep boat and we've raised all these. Medieval pop man, my dad can acquire him, my Kamiakan, my Kurdom out to know, my block your, my Hidi Bottom Week heat in. I think that he quells, he need no rest of my Pam and Weddy Bottom West, Velma Timothy Minim line. Of course, my Hidi set the memory gun with my Weddy Kamilan or Holly Sandinda, so much better. Well, so Tai Kurayana, Duran Duran, Hen Jock, the only Bobble Hen will be seen the Akana. Right, my week called Governor Gev no get them. My in came on Greg, Ivan Kyown, Arbenig Yon, Gaza, Abertawe, Evid, Nithniki John, and Spony Moyene. Dear McKenna, you win Sid Van Hen, Sid and Super Fans of Re Air Swans, Arbella, Sid T, Sid Calderna, Bachar Benig Yon, Heavy Man Dog. I a Sid Cal Provia, Arbenig. Sid Cal Provia, Arbenig. Sid Cal Provia, Sid Cal Provia, on the mascot on when he was TV you well did you well say but sure round if you got well cam the great Katie a cam but I show well say so not Katie though the 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 gavar but say been a few days been a few shots that was him done about Oh, then I'm shocked. Yeah. Oh, I bet Bill and Matt had dad. Dad, I'm going to bring you in for a second here. How special is this? I mean, to have Katie Hosford come to the house as well. What do you think it is about this team that's captured her imagination? I, uh, it's something for Arabella to look up to. Um, like, she enjoys football. And to have a team now that does for the community as well is something to look forward to. And it shows the girls' football can progress into a career as well. Yeah, I know... I know you were able to get down here early today. You came onto the side of the pitch and watched the girls warm up and everything. I got a ball. I guess you get that the team act on heavy man. So sit down here, don't you? I do my best to hold you. Are you nervous, a good ball? Yeah. Are you feeling very nervous? Are you just trying to sit still? Amelia, it's Chris and Benig, my skin is even thin. Chris now with Tamara Matihon and Chris Bing. Mae i godi ymwybyddiaeth ar gyfer cancer yn dydi, a bob un o'r smotiau gwahanol yn dynodi wahanol math o gansyr hefyd. Felly, Chris Arbenig sy'n cefnogi achos Arbenig. Ti meddwl gen i gôl i'r elyrch yn yr ail hanner ar y bala? Ie. Yeah. Ie, gofeithio. Ie, gofeithio. Dad, do you share a confidence maybe Katie Hosford to get one in the second half, hopefully? Yeah, yeah I think, I think uh, Katie has dates to score the second half, 2-1. Yeah. Oh, 2-1, well... Yeah. Listen, it's been great to meet you both. Diolch gymaint ar y bala am dod i rannu dy brofiad hefo ni. Gydi fynd i fwynhau'r ail hanner wan. Egwyl fer sy'n nesaf gynnyn ni rwan. Ond dewch yn ôl at hynny ar gyfer yr ail hanner rhwng Abertawa a'r Axam rhwng cwpl o funudau.
Cwys yn ôl aton ni i ddinas Abertawe. Mae'n gymod rhyngwladol. Wrth gwrs bod i mwy o beldroed i ddod. Clofi chi'n ond mae'r tîm dan i'n ar hyn gan un o wych ar un o bryd. Mae'n cwrdd â Denmark, fori. Mae'n fyw ar lein ac ar y teledu. Clofi chi'n tocyn chwech wedyn nos fawr. Chi beth yn gwybod. Ni angen help gan Arminia yng Nghroasia. Ni angen ennill yn erbyn Turcu. Mae unrhyw beth yn bosib. Cadwch y ffydd gyfeillion. Fan hyn, mae'r Exam ar y blaen. Yw Abertawe'n gallu tân o nôl. Nôl o ni at ein tîm esel webu felly. Welcome back. And thanks to Robin Pinder for waiting so patiently to kick off the second half. It was an interesting first half, despite Swansea getting the lion's share of the chances. Wrexham are ahead. Nia, what would have been said in the changing room by Chris Church, the Swansea manager, because they haven't been doing much wrong, necessarily, but they're behind. Yeah, I think he, he'd probably just tell them to settle, have possession, keep the ball a little bit more. Um, and, yeah, in that final third, it's just those decisions, um, whether to go wide um, and those rotations. And then, yeah, just probably a little bit of patience in front of goal as well. Um, I think sometimes they've been rushing it uh, and they've got a little bit more time. So it's just, uh, yeah, probably more of the same and just hopefully get a goal quickly. That's what that's what Chris Church is wanting, I'm sure. Up to Pinder. Swansea go. Pinder with the ball towards Jenkins. A throw in for Swansea. Lake collects a low cross towards Hosford. Tries to turn. Hosford! The shot bounces back out. She can't get the head on. Chivers. Controls on the left now. She was still going. She'll fight right to the end for that ball. Keeps it in play. Bounces out to Pinder. Pinder manages to get ahead to it, but no control. Hosford. Almost. Almost. But once again, the chance disappears for Swansea. They will have the corner from it. And Hosford to take. The captain, top scorer for Swansea in the league so far. Five goals. Can she assist? The corner bounces all the way back to the opposite side. Lake lifts the cross in. Doran. It's been everywhere in the first half. And she gets that header as well. Hosford. Next one fly, and it's over the bar. But early on, Swansea getting the opportunities. Yeah, they're applying the pressure on the back line of, of uh, Wrexham. There was two very good crosses in there. Uh, I think the first one was from um, Ellie, um, and it was a really good cutback. Probably just need more in the box to sort of run onto that cross rather than Katie Osper coming back onto it. So, yeah, it's just the timing of the runs, I think, uh, could be a little bit better. But, yeah, definitely... Swansea go in for it straight from the off. Oh, Lake wins that ball as well. That pass not reaching Stacey John Davis. Yeah, it's the right thing to try and do. It's just trying to keep that ball on the floor, keep the detail and, and making sure that sometimes they have to do a few passes to draw some defenders out and then they can look to go forward. Um, I think, yeah, just a little bit of patience. They're obviously wanting to get forward, um, but yeah, sometimes it can take one or two passes before you can get forward. Well, Finch getting forward there. Gets all the way to the box. Can't go any further. A good crowd here at the Swansea.com stadium. It's good to see that interest in this league growing constantly. Osford once again goes for goal. Took a bit of a deflection. A goal to equalise at the rock. Took a bit of a deflection as well, but it went in. That was the first time they played out from the back. I think Swansea were set to go and press, and, and Del Morgan saw that uh, an opportunity to play, even though the centre back did go long after. But yeah, that's the first time really to, to play short. So maybe a different tactic. We'll see. 
Jones gives the ball up to Suckley. Lake. Williams long towards Hosford. Shivers through the gap. Pritchard to beat. She gets the cross past her. Yeah, very good run from Chloe Chivers there. Um, she's dangerous when she's got the ball at her feet, you know. Not many defenders can take it off her easily. So, yeah, um, hopefully she, well, she'll be wanting to do that more. Um, but, yeah, Pritchard got across quickly. And then again, Duran there to, to sort of cover as well, um, even though they conceded a corner. But I'm sure she'll be in around the box anyway to clear this one. Osford with a signal into the middle. It goes, Jenkins is there. Can't direct a header towards goal. Lake with a head, with a throw, sorry, towards Stacey John Davis. Oh, nice bit of skill by Davis. Swansea again on the attack. Prison Hancocks. Doran clears. Who else? feels as if she's been the one to stop every attack for Swansea. I know that's not true, but she's certainly been in the middle of it for Wrexham. Oh, she's been massively influen influential for, for the def uh, defence uh, for Wrexham. She's been very good and, yeah, you say her name a lot, but she is doing a lot. Pinder leaves the ball for Jenkins, pokes it out. Stacey John Davis. This will test Morgan and stay fans. That was a tricky ball for her to deal with. Yeah, and she knew uh, Katie Hosford was coming in as well, so, yeah, it always puts that pressure on her um, to to collect and, and keep it in her hands uh, and not parry it. A solid display by Delif Morgan. Gibbard tries to get the ball out to Jones. Lily Jones. Carol Jones combining. This is Gibbard. It's a deflection on a pass. That could have probably been an opportunity for Wrexham. They, they regain possession and the Swansea front line are not looking to track back. You know, Katie Osford staying high, uh, Stacey John Davis staying high, Chloe Chivers. So they're not tracking back with their runners. So it could be an opportunity for Wrexham to, to sort of re realise that and see that and hopefully maybe ca uh, capitalise on that. Osford wins the battle there, evades a tackle. And eventually, there's a long ball that asks too much of Stacey John Davis. Five goals for Katie Osford. Half of what Rosie Hughes has achieved in the league this season. Rosie Hughes, halfway through phase one, has got 10 goals. 15 was how many Stacey John Davis, top scorer of the league last year, got throughout the season. Now she goes for goal. Can't get her second of this season. Not on that opportunity. She thanks the delivery. Yeah, it's a good ball in behind again. I think she probably could have took another touch, maybe, um, just to cut in and inside towards goal. Um, but yeah, I think yeah she'll be disappointed not to get that on target with with the standard that she sets herself. Seventeenth attempt at goal to Wrexham three, but it's that stat in the top left that counts. Lake carries. Lake goes for goal. Lake! A goal from outside the box. The player that got sent off in the reverse fixture equalizes for the home team. And after knocking on the door for so long, Swansea get their goal. Morgan is beaten. Yeah, the pressure was coming. 
I think the bounce just caught Dell Morgan in goal. I think with this surface, it, it just slipped a little bit sooner than Dell thought and went straight underneath there. So, yeah, again, Dell will be disappointed with that one. Church delighted. Lake has got them back into this game. Just rewards for the last 55 minutes of play. Yeah, it'll be interesting now to see if Swansea carry on with this pressure to try and get a second, or will they settle, or will Wrexham try and keep possession a little bit more? So, yeah, the, the next ten, five, ten minutes will be interesting to see what, what happens. Right. After having that red card late on, at the rock, is she the one to be a hero today? Is she going to kickstart the comeback? Oxford. Sharp ahead of it. Sharp matching her for every step. And Doran there to clear. Pitch out up towards Jones. Wrexham trying to counter. Up towards Suckley. Prison Hancocks. Wins the header for Swansea. Yeah, Wrexham looked to go direct quite a lot um, and just, in a, in a way, giving possession back to Swansea and then they build again. So it is going to get very tiring if they continue doing that um, without support around the striker. Throw in. Lake, the goal scorer for Swansea, John Davis helps that ball along to Pinder. Pinder will slide in to try and collect out towards Hosford. Hosford towards goal. Pritchard is there to block. Hosford lays it back to Chivers. Chivers goes for goal, and it's top the bar. And Pinder. Puts it in to the net. They're still celebrating, but it's offside. I'm not sure if they've realised. They've realised now. Yes, a wry smile for Pinder. A save from Morgan to push it onto the post. Yeah, it was a great save from Dell to start with. It's just then that reaction after for the defenders not to sort of think that it's going wide or Dell's going to save it or if it's a goal it's reacting to that second luckily for Wrexham um, Swansea were offside it will be interesting to see if Steve Dale does make any changes or tactically whether that's on the pitch or getting substitutions on um, it'll be interesting to see this next five ten minutes again free kick conceded by Phoebe Davis on Robin Pinder and the yellow card for her troubles as well fifth yellow card for Phoebe Davis this season no one's collected more yellow cards not an accolade she'd be that proud of but uh, it's a free kick for Swansea uh, with an hour as we approach an hour on the clock Williams 
lifts the free kick into the box. Pritchard takes it out wide, but it's Lake that's there to collect. Prison Hancocks back to Williams. Chippers and he just get the ball out to Osford. She's not offside. Osford, Pritchard to beat. And Pritchard has been very hard to beat in this game so far. Yeah, again, I think sometimes an early cross could work. If they are going to get that switch, it's it's switched quickly because it's a big switch. And then it's making that um, switch count and, and getting that cross in the box earlier. Um, or what they started to do was like keep possession to draw Wrexham out a little bit to create those gaps at the moment. Uh, Wrexham are quite deep, so it's it's either or of, of one of those um, chances, I think. Just saw another look at the offside call for the Robin Pinder disallowed goal. In that offside position as a shot was being taken. Good call by the assistant referee. for a throw for Swansea Davis with a heavy touch and uh, chase down that all day long Morgan beats it to the ball a long ball to the corner now Jones chases but powers there for Swansea and Swansea's turn to counter. A wasteful pass by Finch. Yeah, there was four Wrexham players up high then out of the game. Um, and yeah, just more care on that pass probably could get them an opportunity to, to play into the final third. Um, so yeah, again, pass detail from both teams I think could be a little bit better and probably both managers would like to see an improvement in that side of the game. Goes for that diagonal ball again. Sees John Davis fast enough to reach, but can't quite get a body round to control that cross. Yeah, she nearly got there again, uh, looking for that cutback, I think. But yeah, Del Morgan could see that it was uh, hit in the side netting. Another look at that goal to equalise. Wrexham on the counter again, light foot, steps into the box, can she cut back, she lays it back for Lily Jones, runs out of options, light foot. Yeah, there was only one in the uh, penalty box as well, um, again it is going to be a, t a tough challenge for Wrexham to get up there if they are that deep, um, but yeah, those opportunities are going to be vital if they, if they do want to try and get a second they probably do need to, to get up quicker um, to support the play Hosford battling shoulder to shoulder with Pritchard that is a great contest down down that side of the field between Hosford and, and Pritchard really really entertaining to watch Suckley almost right foot Flawed by Stacey John Davis, Ryan Kenny calling John Davis back for the yellow card. There's a roll of the eyes there by John Davis, but let's have another look at it. Yeah, the ball has gone, and I think she does clip her right at the end. Um, again, maybe a little dramatic, but um, yeah, she did catch, and it was a free kick. Not sure about the yellow, but definitely a free kick. TJ Dickens up towards Jones Jones faces towards goal but Jessica Williams was there 
Yeah, a bit of a different free kick there. They definitely either, you know, planned that or Lily, Lily Jones knew what she was doing. Good work by Pritchard there with Pinder at her shoulder. Yeah, I've been impressed with Pritchard as a, you know, in her defensive um, side of the game as well today. She's been very solid at the back there. Morgan up to Doran. Williams. Shivers wins the ball, continues on a run. Hotspur is up there for Swansea to Hotspur. Swansea in the lead. No upset call that time. The home fans are celebrating because they're in the lead for the first time in this game. They're in the lead for the first time against Wrexham this season. And it's Hosper, the captain, with her six of the season. Yeah, I, I think that's that composure that was needed. Um, she recognised she needed it to bounce and, and drop down for her to get it on the on the volley. So it's uh, yeah, it was good composure from Katie Hosford there. And a nice little dink over by Neve Jenkins as well to to find Hosford as well. Very good. Composed from both of them in those situations. That relief on Chris Church's face there, I think. Yeah, definitely he'll be happy with the uh, the sort of impact that the, that the girls have made in this second half. Chivers goes long towards John Davis. President Hancox out towards Hosford, the captain. Yeah, I think um, Davis's position for Wrexham is definitely a little bit deeper now, and they're not finding those switches of play to Stacey John Davis as, as often, even though <laughs> they've still conceded two. But I think that has improved a little bit since the first half. Arabella there, the mascot for Swansea after half time. Said that Katie Hosford would score in the second half. She wasn't wrong. Hosford now we trying to cross to create. Chivers. Davis behind, but Chivers an opportunity to go for goal. And it's past the post. Agonizingly so for Chloe Chivers. Yeah, that looked like it was curling in to be fair from, from here. <laughs> um, but yeah, just wide of the post. But yeah, that's you you know what you're gonna get with Chivers around the box or outside the box even. She will have a go if she thinks she can she can do it. So yeah, they still need to be tight and uh, aware of her anywhere on the pitch really. Hosford turns in towards Pinder, turns, and there's Stacey John Davis asking for the ball. Can't get the ball towards her. Pow. There's Lake. Oh, good skill by Lake. Pass Suckley. Ball up to Pinder. Ball coming from Jenkins, and we'll have a free kick. Pinder with a foul. It's Davis and gets a leg caught under Pinder. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting now to see, um, you know, what Wrexham do. Um, obviously, conceding two in, in the second half after leading at the, the, uh, half time. I think it'll be really interesting to see whether they still remain deep and, and protect the goal and look for those counter or do they go a little bit higher and press so yeah it's uh, something for 
the Wrexham manager to think about um, to try and input. That looked awkward and painful for Phoebe Davis. And while she gets treatment, the players will have a bit of a chance to take on board some messages from the sideline. What would be the message from Steve Dale? Yeah, I think it's being com uh, like keeping composed for for a little bit. Obviously, it's uh, it's never good to concede too, so it's around like being a little bit composed and and just keeping your head in the game to start with. Um, and then yeah, it's about what what he wants from the players. Does he want them to sit in and, and look for that counter? And how does that counter look is really important. Or are they going to change strategy and, and go a little bit higher and and go and press? Um, the danger with that is obviously that there will be, be gaps and, and they'll have to defend really well if they are going to do that. But, yeah, we'll see see what their, their game plan is moving forward. Davis back on the feet. Glad to see that. As with Stacey John Davis in the reverse fixture. Never nice to see someone being taken off injured. And Davis back to clear that ball straight away. Suckley. Now chance for that counter as we mentioned Lake tries to turn tries to use a bit of skill to trick Suckley yeah, that's, sorry. <laughs> that's one thing I'd um, probably say like in the first half once pressure was applied in the Swansea defence, they, they didn't look very comfortable. But we haven't obviously seen that now because they've dropped a little bit deeper. So it's, it'll be interesting to see if, you know, is that something that they could do or is it getting to that stage of the game where it's tired legs and, and they can't do it? I don't know. But, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how the defensive line deal with pressure if, if pressure was applied. Last 20 of the 90 minutes. Four goals were scored in the last 20 at the Rock. There's plenty more to play for here. Good work by Stacey John Davis. Cross can't find a player in white. Lake pulled back by Suckley. The call does arrive from the assistant referee eventually. And we're going to see some substitutions. Sammy in. And Thomas. Emily Thomas arrived from our This is John Davis off the field as well as Neve Jenkins. He's played in every game so far, Sammy Wynn. This time it's an appearance off the bench. Sharp. Richard. Still the ball, Richard. Can't quite reach Jones. Oxford forward to Pinder. Offside call. And Stacey John Davis looks on. No goal for her today. Yeah, I'm fairly surprised she's gone off this early, to be fair. Um, obviously, she hasn't played as much because of the injury. Um, yeah, I thought she'd be, she'd be on for a little bit longer, but maybe it is... A little bit of fitness and building back up, but she has ran <laughs> ran a lot today. So, yeah, maybe maybe giving uh, Emily Thomas a chance on on this wing because um, Emily's equal, well very fast as well. So yeah, we'll see what she does against Davis, uh, the uh, the Wrexham fullback.
Doran clears for Wrexham Pow ahead to Chivers a rare mistake from Pritchard gifts the ball to Hosford Chivers goes long Thomas is there and she is never going to win that race new signing for Swansea yeah I think uh, Wrexham look a little bit tired at the back now um heavy legs on this big pitch you know it is a, is a large pitch um, and they have done a lot of running today so yeah um, surprised that there's probably not more warm ups from, from the Wrexham bench really Crossford Always battling. This one is a battle that Wrexham have won. And there's a yellow card for Hosford for that trip from behind. Yeah, it's definitely from behind. And, you know, Lily Jones was in a stride and, and about to strike the ball, I think. Um, so, yeah, that is a yellow for that one. An opportunity from a set piece for Wrexham to get back in this game. Cross goes all the way to Skinner, and this time, safe hands. Yeah, probably not the best delivery, but also no no runs sort of across the keeper or, or anything like that either. So it was quite quite um, an easy one for for Clear. Again, not has to do much in the second half so yeah she's obviously still still focused and, and still aware of what's happening Finch to the corner to Hosford Emily Thomas on the run at the back post gets pulled back and agonizingly goes past the post but Finch would continue with her run as long as he can't stretch their lead So close. Yeah, well run from a, a full back position as well, you know, getting there and, and getting a touch but obviously slightly wide, but yeah, good run from Finch there. Opportunity for light foot. And the ball creeping into the box for Skinner to collect. This is where maybe Wrexham are missing Rosie Hughes, you know, that, that speed in behind or going to press and and being a nuisance in that in that front line is probably now is where it, it probably would continue to count if Rosie was on the pitch and available for this game. A red card in the last game. Two yellows at Cardiff Met. The reason Rosie Hughes can't play today. It was an injury time that, that happened. Thousand eight hundred here to watch. Three thousand eight hundred fifty-nine to be precise. That's great to see so many people arriving here. Yeah, definitely. It's it's really good to see so many um, you know people, young children as well, like admiring what what hopefully uh, their role models um, for the future. And yeah, it's so good to see more like female football in in this big stadiums. You know. Um, it's obviously capturing uh, people's attention and, and it's entertaining to watch. So, yeah, hopefully more more in the big stadiums, really. Well, talking about big crowds, obviously we had over 9,000 watching Wrexham in the last season. Lily Jones, not good to see her. Limping off, Lily Whitefoot will come on to replace her. Lily but Jones has worked so hard in that midfield today, uh, covering a lot of ground. 
some of the things that you don't really notice, you know, just uh, marking players, getting the last ditch tackles and stuff like that. So it's it's yeah, she's been vital in that midfield today for them. Yeah, sad to see her go for this game, but also the concerns how soon she can be back to fitness for the upcoming games. Mona Legal, that's the substitution that's just come on instead of Robin Pinder. Chivers, and Thomas asking for the ball out right. Doran goes long. Chivers right into the face of Suckley there. Whitefoot still looking for a first touch for the substitution. Thomas down the line. Sammy win. Can't get it in. Prison Hancocks. Sometimes the opportunity is a switch for Swansea's there to create the width again. Uh, I said it in the first half that they're quite narrow, that front three, um, and it's making it a little bit predictable or easy for the Wrexham defence. So if, if the wide players could get wider, I think that would cause a lot of issues, which is this one, I think. Thomas coming in from a wide position with the cross. Osford not going to get it, but almost as if they listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I think that would be a little bit um, a better resource of like getting it into the wide areas and delivering across early, um, you know, from both sides, creating gaps in between the defensive uh, lines between fullbacks and centre back is really important. Oswood, good cross, Williams. There's a deflection on her header. We have another corner. Swansea. Morgan punches out. And we come back. Williams clatters into Morgan. There's a, a small apology. Yeah, it was a great punch initially. But yeah, she does wipe her out a little bit, so <laughs> yeah, a deserved free kick there. Pow tries to carry the ball out of defence. Going eventually, it's Gibbard who gets a foot on the ball for Wrexham. All the way to Skinner. As it stands, Swansea draw level with Wrexham on 16 points. Joint second. Wrexham stay above on goal difference. Just Cardiff six points ahead of them on 22. Cardiff will be well not really happy that Swansea are winning but they will be happy that the, the gap is getting bigger to so like six points rather than um, Wrexham closing it by three if they, they would win uh, maybe a draw they'd prefer but yeah obviously Cardiff are obviously a little bit more relieved than, than Wrexham you know breathing down their necks if they, if they would have won this fixture so yeah uh, that gap starting to appear so it'll be interesting to see you know in, in a few weeks time whether that gap's Gap gets bigger, or, or can they uh, capitalise on, on making it smaller? Yeah, the changes in the table today is Aberystwyth won, so they move into fourth place above TNS. TNS have got a game in hand, they didn't play Pontypri, they don't play until next weekend. Chivers goes long. And that was never going to come down far enough. 
yeah, I don't think she caught that as she wanted to, um, but it still ripples in the net. <laughs> um, so, yeah, even though she doesn't catch it, it still goes quite close. It was cup football for Wrexham last weekend. They beat Llandino 1 0. Katie Sharp with a very, very late goal to make it 1 0. They will play Britain Ferry Sam Sowell in the next round. A repeat of the playoff that got them here into the Premier Division. Thomas, a oh, good ball down to Legal who can't control in the end. But as the tempo is coming down in the game, a good move from Swansea. Yeah, definitely. They're still trying to create. Uh, they're still making those runs into the box. Again, it's just a little bit more of that final third composure, I think, as Katie Hosford showed with her goal. Oh, Hosford is giving the ball to Legal. Took a bit too much time, if anything, there. Lake. Goes out for throw from Pritchard. It's a substitution. Maybe Mackenzie is coming on. And it's the goal scorer, Cara Jones, who's going off. And at the moment, it serves as a consolation goal. Can Mackenzie be one to get another? And steal a point for Wrexham. We're in the last five minutes of the 90. Whitefoot battling for the ball, fresh legs from the substitute. And she has an opportunity to go down on goal now, but Lake. Tackle there, clears. Yeah, again, I think um, in that opportunity, Wrexham had to sort of secure possession, keep the ball. A simple pass might have, have been able to do it to keep the possession, but it was a uh, forced forward, and then yeah, just gave gave away possession again. And here comes Swansea with uh, another attack. Well, that clearance comes straight to. Sammy Wynn lays it off for Hosford. There's a corner. Yeah, you can definitely see some tired legs in there now. You know, the, the clearances aren't really getting anywhere or it's a, it's a misplaced clearance. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely something that I think Swansea will try and push again, you know, put more pressure on, on a tired defensive legs of, of Wrexham. Doran once again who slides in to get that deflection. Tired legs, it seems that Doran's still got life in the legs yet. Chivers asks a question of Morgan, who punches. Yeah, she comes for that quite well with so many numbers around her. Um, so, yeah, she did well there, Del Morgan. Looks like there's another substitute waiting to come on. She will get an opportunity now. Sophie Brisson Hancock's who comes off. For Steph Turner, the two, the two of the players that came over from Cardiff met over the summer. Back to Swansea. Not only strengthening Swansea, but weakening Cardiff met, who are sitting six in the table at the moment. It used to be Swansea and Cardiff met were the ones battling out for the title every year. Now we've got Cardiff City and Wrexham. Yeah, definitely. There's a there's a change and a shift in momentum in, in the table. Um, clearly, this this season. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see Cardiff met so low down. It's it's we haven't seen that for for quite a lot of seasons now. So yeah, it's interesting. And and Wrexham doing really well in their first first season in this league. Certainly shaping up to be interesting at the moment. Richard lobs it up towards 
a big collision. Let's have another look at this as we approach the 90 minutes. It looks like both players will need assistance. Williams is a player from Swansea. She's up. Well, she's getting a handshake. Four minutes to be added. Jess Williams, the one who got the yellow card just now. Another look at it. Oh, it's Pritchard. There's the one. It's clattered. Oh, Whitefoot, sorry. Just come on. Immediately winded on the floor. Whitefoot is up and running. Doran. Long. Takes one bounce in the box, and Skinner collects. Yeah, that was the opportunity, maybe. Um, they haven't had many, and they haven't been in, in Swansea's half really much this this second half. So, yeah, that was probably a, a real chance that they could have probably done a little bit better with. Katie Hosford, chosen by our Welsh language commentary as player of the match. Would you agree, Nia? Yeah. yeah. Katie's always busy, always hungry for for goals, and and yeah, she has obviously scored uh, today. So yeah, she she is a very influential player and done really well. Um, but equally, I think Durant was excellent as well. I know she's on the loop, well, potentially on the losing side, um, but she has kept Wrexham in it, especially in that first half and the amount of clearances she made. Yeah, um, a performance, perhaps not. Worthy of being on the losing side. But the chances that Swansea have created. The odds were against Wrexham in many ways. They have two minutes to grab an equaliser. And Doran is the one standing over this free kick to send it long into the mix. Headed out by Williams. Davis tries to keep the momentum in Wrexham's favour, but it's Hosford. Well, happy to take it out to the corner and take her time. That clock is ticking. A yellow card for Pritchard. Yeah, it was late. Signs of frustration finally coming in for Pritchard. After a great performance for her as well in yeah. the Wrexham defence. Yeah, she's been excellent today as well. Like you, you know, playing fullback, usually sometimes playing as a winger as well. So she's done a really good job and yeah, contained Katie Osford for a lot of the game. Uh, maybe not towards the end when when uh, she did score, but yeah, a really good performance by Pritchard today. Chivers followed by Pritchard into the corner. Three Wrexham players trying to battle for the ball. They do win the goal kick. They will get an opportunity to send the ball up. Seconds left now. We had late drama on the rock. There will be quite some late drama if Wrexham score now. Gets lifted high by TJ Dickens. Dickens again. Morgan needs to get rid of the ball. Turner for Swansea is the one who's there. And now Mackenzie to the corner. Suckley will chase. Pow wins the race. Up towards Finch. Finch tries to carry the ball past Pritchard. And it's seconds gone for 
for Wrexham. Has their last opportunity gone? Osford goes the gal. Swansea still happy to chuck the ball around. Sammy Wynn closing down on goal into the box. Can she seal the deal for Swansea? Osford. Osford, the captain, happy to slow things down. And that is it, Swansea win this tie. Osford celebrates. Chris Church celebrates. And after being 1 0 down, the game's the run of play. At half time, it's goals from Lake and Hosford that give Swansea a win. They're joint on points with Wrexham in the table now. And the second part of this first phase of the season comes nicely. Swansea 2, Wrexham 1. Back to Dylan Ebenezer. Bachorid had a boss of heavy, a roll, cloistered he gets a hundred cantana, Valen Mapetimin, now map, a breast with a cloggy hundred a carol and a can of barry, Kyle Dean Sinara Brig, Dean Game Gavartal, Arani, and Indian Cog Game Kurdi, and then a palm for the clear, and then a palm of the trip and Gamor Boys, he had a tower, he got to about Carano. Because <laughs> the <laughs> Nessa, tell Kenny Glower, set my hoil, yeah, and all a quick one, all and I'll be drawing Nicky John. Well, Stacey, a huge three points there, an important three points. Some performance, you girls have to show some character to come back into that one. Yeah, massively, you know, the girls really did put 90 minutes out there, it's a team effort, and we're thrilled to come away with the three points today, we thoroughly deserve it. Katie, was there a period where you felt like perhaps you were making it a little bit difficult work for yourselves, but you really, really dug in to come back into it? Yeah, 100%. I think that's something we've shown all year is the resilience in this team. Um, we don't give up when we go 1-0 down. Um, and like, I think we had a one, one chance really the whole game, and I think we had the best half. So I'm really proud of the team, really happy to come with a three points. I have to ask as well about the experience of playing in a stadium like this. There's over three and a half supporters here today behind you. What does that feel like? It's phenomenal, you know, it's brilliant to see all the young girls and boys' faces in the in the stands. They, you know, it really does spur us on as a team and, you know, we're all really, really grateful for them turning up today. I must just mention to Katie as well, I spoke to your young fan, super fan Arabella at half-time, and just to see young kids here with your name on the back of their shirt, knowing that you make their day, what does that feel like? It still feels really surreal, to be honest. I mean, I was speaking to my parents about it the other day, and I was like, I never would have thought that young girls would, like, see me as an idol or want to have my name on their shirts. So obviously, every time I see someone new with this, it still feels the same, and obviously it's nice that we can have that effect on them. Oh. And to get that winner and that celebration as well is special. Listen, you are the star of the show, the player of the match this afternoon. Stacey, do the honours. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Stacey John Davis, I'm going to bring Tony Quis. I don't know. I'm going to bring Tony Quis. I'm going to bring Tony Quis. Ari Hall here, Arar Egoil, a gun on the streading Josh Ben on Story Wahanol and the Royal Hanner, Jama Pam, Mother Newid Mow the Royal Hanner. Yeah, and he's sorry, sorry, you may probably be trying to drop the horse somewhere by Phil Axe. Only just Biff and Disco, you know, Kevin will be ready to go drought, so I'll name back when you come and cover all day, but not only so, just to have a couple of them there, or the other Arab and Ebbers, Cadwen East, and Lady Anna, the Del Morgan, and the Gold. He 
Anthony Wells along over in white. Eto, King of Ben, Miguel Moyo, Matev. Now, Anthony Wells, the Tatsi Adev and him. Our colleague, Faith, our two well. They can even all have Nicky John. Chris, a big three points there, no doubt about that. How do you assess the performance, though? Oh, I think we were phenomenal. We played some great football. I think we were far the better team. You know, Wrexham came to, you know, stifle us. They, they made it hard, hard to beat at times, um, you know, and credit to them. But I think, overall, I think we deserve the win. You really seem to take control of proceedings in that second half as well. Oh, I think I think all game we took control. Um, you know, we talked about a bit more half-time of being patient at uh, creating that tempo. Uh, I could talk a bit more talking. I think you could see that second half with the two goals that we scored uh, and the, the scenes to go with it and some of the football is great. And it's a win that I'm sure just gives you masses of confidence going forwards as well. Oh, it's a massive win. I talk, we talked about it all week and for us to deliver it here in front of all the fans is fantastic. All the fans, as you say, I'll go and let you enjoy celebrating in front of them. I'm going to go to the Church and Dean Hapis, and Utah Gavardi Seal. What I come out there, he quells a goal, Nathan Ungavata, and the goal with the goal. Fessy, a Femon Udison Hevet, a Flex and the Craig Gummit, and you can tell me that you are not with the goal. Yeah, me all having credit on Udi Craig Gummit of Kavlea. I got on the direct on a traumatic and a more than a deal, just goal, and I just on a top pill. Whether similarly, Delia, you're going to feel good that I'll be our wedding, just come come here, and come back in the head of the bill. Lubeck was a team disc goal. I'm the final can on a level of my get a clear on quality. Back for your boys, Stanley Quaid. I just come with Amster. Set for Hina and Kinner. Good job. Line of goal. Katie Hosford. I'm a Hidi Bond. I swear to you, Cammy Lambert, captain. Some of my heavens. My right is son, Kim Gordon, heavens. I'm a door from Peter Milamar. Lori Roberts, or Kim Victor Spells, or Judy Costa, her dacher to mor. And go with an avoid and go with your King of America and the King of the Union. Tomorrow, I'm a day with Adam. But a point to me, he can run. Then he didn't saw them at all. He didn't saw them at a question. He just saw them again. And he doesn't quite pick another point to that. Now, the Mephiaros, Tamba, the Emperor, the point to Marcus. You met the Gliro Pamor, Vaud Mahon, Patina studied the whole Hannes Pill, Joy Merched. Um, I'm Rudd Island and Humry. I fight my demand in Edmund, fight a Royce to see the board in a fourth. My just call, I'm going to my game, my man will add to it. I'm going to know now, he could have been, he is sorry, he is plenty of even. Becky Murphy, Zodi, Quillio, Quillio, Teledi, you met him here, I'm going to play, right? I'm going to throw it, Pamela, Point Sigma, Hannah, Velvet, and Dora Norma. To have no joy of an end. Please, 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 please